This is Jupiter Today for the 28th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there are seven Jupiter satellite events and three mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day moving behind Jupiter. We're going to be going into quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day also in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede begins the day behind Jupiter, but going to be moving into quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto spends all day long in quadrant two, heading west. You can see that all four of the Galilean moons seem to be east of Jupiter most of today. This blue line here is the line of sight to the Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. The angle between these two is the phase angle. At 2.37 UTC, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter. At 2.53, Io reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And at 3.07 UTC, Ganymede moves into Jupiter's shadow. By 6 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa is pretty much at its eastern elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 2, heading west. And Ganymede is now moving out from behind Jupiter. At 6.47 UTC, Ganymede reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And from 1141 to 1153 UTC, EO occults Ganymede. It's an 11.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.461 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.211 magnitudes. And it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, 102.79 arc seconds. At 12 hours UTC, EO has passed its eastern elongation and joins Europa and Callisto in quadrant 2, heading west. At 1359 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, that's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 677,388.9 kilometers. And then at 1450 UTC, Io goes through a perigee, that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 420,000 49.4 kilometers. From 1458 to 1508 UTC, EO eclipses Ganymede. It's a 9.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.433 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.383 magnitudes. A nice distance away from Jupiter, 135.96 arc seconds, and EO and Ganymede are 53.65 arc seconds apart. From 1902 to 1911 UTC, Europa eclipses Ganymede. It's a 9 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.432 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.415 magnitudes, 174.14 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and Ganymede are 62.11 arc seconds apart. At 2043 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 2144, EO's shadow ingresses. And at 2259, the transit of EO ends. So by zero hours UTC, the transit of EO has ended. Europa and Callisto are still in quadrant two, heading west. And Ganymede is behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto. It's a nice symmetrical sheet there. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these and get rid of the orbital lines to get that for today. 
24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out over the next 24 hours. So we're rotating with Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. So we rotate a couple of times over a 24 hour period. Get EO, Europa, and Callisto all together there. Someday some human eyes will be able to witness that. goes EO transiting. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 343, the second at 1339, and the third at 2334. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 1 minute, 21.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 57 minutes, 28.5 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun of Jupiter is 129.806 degrees, and that's 1.028 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 8.706 degrees, and that's 0.116 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 703,381,037 kilometers, and that's 1,931,640 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 80,485 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,053.79 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,917,466 kilometers, and that's 44,128 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,838.67 kilometers per hour, and that's 1.91 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 324.22 degrees, CM2, 323.54 degrees, CM3, 245.16 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Tell everybody that you know about this daily podcast, highlighting events in the Jupiter system trying to encourage as many observations of this very dynamic system as I can. So you can send your comments and images, questions, suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.